Okay, so now what we need to do is we're going to look at the rescue configuration. At this point, we have an operational configuration that allows us connectivity. And what we want to do is we want to set a rescue configuration. This is a configuration that we can roll back to if something happens or something is changed and there's a catastrophic effect. We can always roll back to this rescue configuration. And a lot of devices actually have a button physically on the face of the device that you can press to actually load that rescue configuration. So for this we need to be in operational mode. So we're going to go back to operational mode here and we just need to issue one command to set the rescue configuration to the current configuration of the device. So that command is request system configuration rescue save. Alright, so now our rescue configuration is set to be our current configuration. So now if we make changes in the future, we can always roll back to that rescue configuration, this point of stability that we know we have right now. So if we're doing some labs in the future, and you get to this point, go ahead and do this with your lab equipment. So that later if you get to a point where you are not sure what's going wrong with your configuration, you can always roll back to this configuration and go from there. So the command that you would use actually if you wanted to roll back to the rescue configuration from the command line, you can just issue the command rollback. Oops. We're going to actually need to be in edit mode. We can issue the command rollback rescue. And see there it is. It says load complete. So we just loaded the rollback rescue configuration. Now if you actually wanted to delete the rescue configuration, say you just didn't want it there anymore, or it was an old configuration and it doesn't have any relevance anymore, and you never really wanted to use it again, you can go back to operational mode, I'll say yes here, and you can issue the command request, whoops, okay, request system configuration rescue delete and that will actually just delete the rescue configuration that is saved there. Now something else we can do is we can go back to edit mode here and we can say show compare rollback 1. What this is going to do is this is going to show the difference between your rollback configuration and the configuration that you currently have. This will be a good way to evaluate if there is a rollback configuration set some time ago and you come in and you want to know if the rollback configuration is accurate, you can issue this show compare rollback one command and you can look and see what the difference is between the current configuration and what the saved rescue configuration is. And it will show you all the differences and then if you want to modify it, you can modify it at this point. Also, remember that this command shows the difference between the current and candidate configuration and the configuration from one commit ago. So also remember that the Junos configuration file is saved in the var slash home slash user directory and the file name is latest.clnf. So if you need to save or load a configuration, maybe you have an FTP set up, you can access that latest.clnf file, and that's going to be your current candidate configuration.